I now this this will be a segue for ages, obviously. But speaking of rockets, we have uh, Israel. <laughs> you guys are so welcome. I'm sorry. Come on. <laughs> Israel launched a rocket backwards. What is that a good s- point? Flamey end up. <laughs> <laughs> that seems. Yeah. Kind of, but no. Uh, and this is the way they do it. This is the the Shavit rocket that uh, that Israel launches. That they have their own uh, orbital rocket, and for really you know classified Definitely missions and stuff. A claim on this one. We'll we'll just do still pictures. Um, but th- whenever they launch this thing, uh, it, they actually launch it retrograde. They launch west, so that they don't drop oh. their boosters. And you know if something happens, they're not dropping them on Jordan or Saudi Arabia. Et cetera, et cetera. They actually launch over <laughs> the Mediterranean. Sorry, guys. Yeah, uh, it's just not an international to... incident or anything. <laughs> right. Yeah. So they actually launch backwards. Like they go retrograde. Backwards in, in terms of the direction that this planet is spinning. Correct. Yes. Yes. Yeah, okay. Right. So normally, you know, you want to take advantage of the rotation of the Earth because it, mm-hmm. uh, it gives you a nice little bit of velocity boost uh, in your orbital velocity. So going against it is is hard and basically what it comes down to is if they took this exact same lo- rocket and took it to like a east coast you know pad or somewhere where it can can launch due east it could probably take almost twice as much to leo um so obviously mm-hmm. like it takes a pretty big performance hit to go backwards but it's not like it's you know 10 times or anything it's not like it's like oh you mm-hmm. idiots you know or anything it's but it's pretty <laughs> cool they have the ability to launch their own payloads um you know, from their own country and, and go west and be clever about it and actually still put things into Leo just going backwards. So the, they put up these, um uh, I can't remember what they're called, the which, well, it probably isn't here. Oh, crap, I wish I could read that. But <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember the name of the satellite, but they have a, a series of, of kind of their own defense satellites that they've been launching. And uh, they've been doing this for a while, but I just thought it was kind of fun to, to talk about because it's, I think one of the only rockets that actually goes, uh, oh, wait, I don't know. Uh, oh, the OFEC, there we go. The OFEC satellites, I believe, is, is the payload. So they, they mm-hmm. basically only use this to launch their own dedicated kind of classified satellites. But it's basically all solid rocket boosters um, for three stages, and it's a, it's a pretty cool launch vehicle. Uh, up to four stages, actually. They actually have a fourth stage. Wow. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, I thought that was kind of a fun it, thing to talk about quick. And so the West launch is strictly a geographical thing. They just yes. have to so that they're not, yeah. And there's been a lot of talk about them potentially using this launch vehicle. It'd be a really good air launch vehicle. You know, they could stick it on a, a plane. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. And that would definitely solve some of their problems where they could do that in-house, fly it down to where it's safe to do that, you know, on like on a 747 or like Cosmic Girl or something, you know, like hire it from Virgin Orbit or something. And they'd still have full control of the rocket and just mount it up there and do the air launch. And they could really uh, put a substantially bigger... They could probably launch two of those satellites at once doing it that way, you know? So it might be worth it. But who knows? Who knows what they're actually working on there? But I mean, and is that actually worth... Is it worth the engineering and all the effort to do that versus just launching two rockets, you know? But yeah. It's uh, it's cool. interesting to see, you know, the creativity is kind of the way i look at that is given their circumstances they had to come up with a different solution than you know other countries and other people around the world that are doing it so the the constraints of the problem you know led to a cool solution yeah Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this clip from our show. If that's just not enough for you and you want to watch the full episode, you can go to olfpod.com slash yt. And if you want more from us, you can consider becoming a Patreon member. You'll get early access to episodes. You can join our awesome community. You can actually watch us record live and get your name in the credits by going to olfpod.com slash Patreon. So thanks everyone for watching. Check back every Friday for new clips here and new episodes on the main channel. Thanks, everybody.